Welcome to Raw Online. I am Dr. Venkata Krishnan, Professor of Medicine. We will be discussing multiple choice questions and various aspects of infectious diseases. We will try to cover as much as the diseases possible with the suggestions and uh, images for specific uh, lesions. The first question is complex spots is a future of. The answer is very easy. You have to immediately answer the question is measles. What is complex spot is a enanthin seen as erythematous lesion inside the buccal mucosa. Usually two to three days of onset of symptoms. Measles is a self-limiting disease, mostly without complications. The dreaded complication is SSP, which should not occur. If it occurs, it has permanent neurological sequelae. Mums presents with bilateral parotitis, initially unilateral, followed by bilateral parotids. You can identify with the parotid duct inflammation, which is seen around the upper second molar teeth. Rubella has specific exanthem, usually retroauricular rash and multiple exanthem over the trunk. Scarlet fever has different presentations with erythema and pharyngitis, one of the features. Minor criteria for acute rheumatic fever diagnosis. Pizza pie appearance in fundus is seen in infection. This is also easy. All these simple questions, you should never waste time. Cytomegalovirus. Cytomegalovirus. Specific answer. This is a one of the specific fundus picture of cytomegalovirus. What it is? It is basically hemorrhagic lesions inside the retina with varied involvement of the fundus that can be papilledema and vascular attenuation. You can see the hemorrhagic lesions seen in the fundus. What does varicella zoster present with? Present with definitely we know it is a herpetic lesion, vesicular lesions usually over a dermatome. It is limited to a dermatome. T10, umbilicus, it is a dermatome. When do you suspect varicella zoster is immunodeficiency? In immunodeficiency, how is the presentation different uh, in varicella zoster? What happens is there will be bilateral lesions irrespective of dermatomal distribution. Epstein Barr virus, EBV. What is the present basic presentation? Is present as mimics the enteric fever, presents as upper respiratory tract infections with various lesions, sometimes lymphadenopathy. It causes systemic involvement, it can cause hepatitis and varied presentations, very rare in, in association with malignancies, lymphomas and nasopharyngeal carcinomas. Toxoplasmosis is a different presentation when it especially it is a immunocompetent, it presents differently immunocompromised with cerebral lesions, multiple cerebral space occupying lesions. Kaposi sarcoma, the next easy question, one of the common things I must know concept, it is human herpes virus 8. Kaposi sarcoma, it is a age defining illness. It can occur in various areas starting from the buccal mucosa, it can affect the internal organs, gut, everywhere it can be seen. Herpes simplex type 1, type 2, it is totally different, which presents with genital lesions and it can cause CNS involvement, type 1 or type 2. Atypical lymphocytes in peripheral smear is seen in infection with. This is also easy questions. You should not waste time in this question. The answer is Epstein Barr virus. As I discussed, what is the clinical presentation? Is it presents with lymphadenopathy, pharyngitis, and sometimes hepatitis, rare association with malignancies. What are the lab features? How do you diagnose Epstein Barr virus? Usually, Capsid antigen, Paul Bunnell test, 
which is not used commonly heterophile antibody test paul bunnell test antibody to nucleus capsid antigen is specific pcr can be done peripheral smear shows atypical lymphocytes herpes simplex virus nothing uh, special in peripheral smear what is in cytomegalovirus is this is what is seen in cytomegalovirus owl eyed nuclei owl eye nucleated lesions which are seen in cmv infection dengue definitely atypical lymphocytes are there there will be penia thrombocytopenia leukopenia that is what is common with dengue erythema migrans is the future of this also easy question this is not a tough question the answer is lyme disease erythema chronicum migrans borrelia burgdorferi it is a infection which can produce various neurological lesions it can cause bilateral facial palsy it can cause mimic peripheral neuropathy it can cause cns lesions it can cause conduction defects myocarditis and conduction defects sudden deaths are reported if it goes unnoticed so lyme disease the skin manifestation is erythema chronicum migrans this is what is migrans looks like you can see central erythematous lesion followed by a halo and a edge circular edge surrounding the erythematous central lesion this is what is erythema chronicum migrans will have any brucellosis will have any skin manifestations no lausbond relapsing fever not much skin manifestation there can be some skin lesions due to the bite listeriosis is totally a different infection with nothing special about any specific skin skin manifestation the following drugs are effective in leptospirosis except this is also important clinical wise and mcq wise so you, we have to know how to treat leptospirosis leptospirosis starts with mild or moderate and severe this has to be borne in mind mild and moderate means infection is mild without affection of the kidney mild hepatitis no there is no hepatic failure no severe hepatitis such severe, severe hepatic or hepatic failure if there is renal involvement it is called wales disease or severe leptospirosis in specific association with specific leptospira species leptospira ectero 